One main research focus for the Geoma Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research Kiel is the Eastern Tropical North Atlantic. It's a key region of the global climate system in which ocean and atmosphere are coupled in multiple and most dynamic ways. The atmospheric conditions are characterized in the boreal summer months by the deep precipitating convection in the inner tropical convergence zone. Whereas in boreal winter, the trade winds has a strong influence on the biogeochemistry and biological productivity of the eastern tropical North Atlantic by depositing massive amounts of Saharan dust onto the sea. But also and especially in the ocean, major processes are at work. For example, the coastal upwelling system of West Africa visible here by the blue color, which represent cold and nutrient-rich waters. The newly upwelled water is transported and distributed offshore by mesoscale eddies. These processes result into the development of a large marine ecosystem that is among the most productive, diverse and economically important ones worldwide. In the oligotrophic open ocean, sea mounts around Cap Verde and the Cap Verdean archipelago itself are hotspots of marine biodiversity. At the same time, a harmful oxygen minimum zone exists in the interior ocean. On this map, indicated by the low oxygen concentrations marked in blue. The oxygen minimum zone has shown trends of intensification and expansion, as dedicated oceanographic studies from Kiel report. Finally, the region is also of high interest on a geoscientific perspective, due to its location on the so-called mantle plume, which gives rise to volcanic hotspots. Thus, the region burst with tropical scientific questions of high relevance. Therefore, the GEOMA and the Cap Verdean Institute for Ocean Research, INDP, built a joint facility on Sao Vincente. One main activity to get physical, biological, chemical or geological data are interdisciplinary research cruises that usually take place about once per year. Another way to obtain information are gliders. The glider is an autonomous underwater gliding vehicle that travels through the ocean with about 25 kilometers per day. While doing that, it takes vertical profiles of the upper 1,000 meters of the ocean, measuring various parameters like temperature, salinity, dissolved oxygen or turbidity. While moving up and down, the glider experiences buoyancy changes, which are used for its forward motion. Once a glider is back at the surface, it transmits data to a land station and can also receive a new GPS location, so for the direction of the next dive. To get coherent long-term observations, two observatories were established close to the Ocean Science Center in Mindelo. One atmospheric observatory on the island Sao Vicente and an ocean observatory which is located about 100 kilometers northeast of the island Sao Vicente, so is in the same atmospheric conditions. The Cape Verde Ocean Observatory is a mooring site that was first deployed in 2006 and covers the whole water column. Attached to the about 3,800 meter long wire, are different sensors for physical measurements like temperature, salinity or current measurements. They are like single point current meters measuring only at one position or also current measurements covering multiple hundreds of meters. There are also important biological and biogeochemical parameters that are measured like carbon dioxide, dissolved oxygen or phytoplankton and zooplankton concentrations. And for that like underwater vision profilers vegetation samples or sediment traps are used. The established infrastructure and especially the two long-term observatories give us the opportunity to improve our understanding of the complex ocean systems in the eastern tropical North Atlantic.